How do I tell my fiance that I'm not attracted to him? Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I'm sending me on Instagram. My fiance and I met in school over 10 years ago. We started running in the same friend circle, and after that, we became best friends. Now, I will say, I always knew that he had a thing for me, but he was always so soft and gentle. He was always my best friend that I could tell everything to. And when it came to guys, he always gave me the best advice. I knew he had my back always. After high school, he went away for college and I stayed home. And I started dating a ton of guys. Of course, I kept him updated on everybody I was dating. During the summer, he came to visit us and that's when I realized he had a huge glow up. But he was still the same guy. He asked me if we could go to dinner, the movies. Essentially, they were like mini dates. And the more I hung out with him, the more I thought, okay, maybe I am attracted to him. At least I wanted to believe it. I mean, he'd be the perfect man for me. We know each other so well. He makes me laugh. He cares about me. My family already loves him. So I decided to give him a chance. This might sound bad, but his glow up was kind of like a trick. It tricked me into believing that I was attracted to him. So then I tricked myself into believing that I could be with him. When he asked me to be his girlfriend, I said yes. But anytime he tried to kiss me, I would always feel weird. He finally had to go back to college and this is when I had to muster up the courage to finally kiss him. And so I did. It was not a good kiss. In fact, I didn't feel anything. But I continued to trick myself into believing that I'll feel something for him eventually. He was so in love with me. All he did was talk about me, always texting me, calling me. He was the perfect boyfriend. A year later, he actually proposed. And at this point, I had convinced myself long enough that I liked him. So I said yes. But as we started planning, I really realized I am not attracted to him at all. Part two is a uh, how do I confess to my fiance that I'm not attracted to him? This claim is not my story time is sending me on Instagram. He planned out the most amazing proposal. He took me down to a lake where we used to hang out with all our friends. As we started getting closer to the lake, there was a pathway of candles. And as soon as I saw those candles, I knew that he was going to propose. And the worst part is the whole time he was proposing, I just kept looking at his face trying to figure out if I'm attracted to him or not. Or if what I feel is just love of a friend that I've loved for years. I was so confused and I didn't know how to say, I don't know. So instead I said yes. Both of our families were right there are hiding. They came out and congratulated us. My parents actually could not be happier. They love my fiance. How could they not? He's been my best friend for 10 years. I felt like I was in a racing car and I couldn't pump the brakes. Everything was happening so quickly and I couldn't say, hold on. Like, let me think about this. I was so confused and torn up and I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I also didn't want to hurt my own feelings. I opened up to my mom and told her exactly how I felt. And she says, I'm not surprised. When I asked her why, she told me that she knew he was never my type of guy, but she knew that he could grow to be one and that the love he and I feel for each other is just as important as the love a husband and wife might feel but I explained to her that even though yes I truly deeply love him I'm just not attracted to him and she confessed that when her and my dad got engaged she wasn't even in love with him let alone attracted to him but she says that all of that came with time and that all we see in movies is people falling head over heels, having the best sex and the best relationships, and that I needed to realize it was only in movies. After talking to my mom, I felt worse about the entire situation. I was no longer confused. I knew I definitely was not attracted to him. And part of me knew that I would never come to be attracted to him. We'd already been together a year at this point, and I still felt nothing when he kissed me. I felt like a liar, felt guilty. Then something happened. A friend group set up a whole party and they wanted us to come. But there were a couple of people that we had never met. And like a scene straight out of a movie, I see this guy from across the room and he looks at me instant attraction i can't even describe it it's like i just couldn't stop looking at him and he couldn't stop looking at me either every time i looked in his direction he was always looking at me then one of our friends introduced us as in me and my fiance to this guy he was new to the friend group and he had just moved into town this is what i'm talking about i want to feel those feelings for whoever i end up marrying instead of guilt and pity i told my parents i was going to break off the engagement but they want me to reconsider and no i haven't had any contact with that guy obviously the feeling he gave me isn't that what I should be feeling for my fiance? I'm speaking to him tonight, so I will be posting a third part to the story time tomorrow. Wish me luck and give me some tips on what I should say to him. Don't want to hurt him, but I know he's going to get hurt anyway. And I don't want to lie to him. I just want to tell him the truth. I'm not attracted to you. But how do I say that without making him feel like he's ugly or something? Help me out. Talk your sister out. I, 28 female, lost weight, and now I want to divorce my husband, 29 male. We've been married for five years and together for seven. We also have a three-year-old kid. After having the baby, I struggled a lot with losing the baby weight and adjusting to being a parent. I also had the baby blues at first, which was tough. I wasn't really focused on my appearance and instead I was trying to figure out our new routine and way of life. But then my husband started making these little comments about my body and how I should start working out and wearing makeup again. It made me feel really awful and I worried that he might start looking elsewhere because we weren't being intimate anymore. He even suggested hiring a nanny so I could have more time for myself but I wanted to be there for our baby full time so I turned down the offer. That made him angry and he started acting cold towards me. Months went by without any hugs, kisses, romance or any kind of affection. My self-esteem hit rock bottom. Every time I looked in the mirror, all I saw were the flaws that my husband pointed out. 
By this point, our son was already two years old and I desperately wanted to win my husband back. I thought if I got into shape again, he would show me love and affection and our marriage would be saved. I craved his attention so much and it hurt to see how much things have changed. But you can't force someone to be affectionate. I took matters into my own hands and hired some help. With more free time, I started going to the gym, taking swim classes, getting my hair and lashes done regularly, and eating healthier. And guess what? I've lost a ton of weight and I feel amazing. Suddenly, my husband started touching me, kissing me, buying me flowers, and treating me like the complete opposite of how he treated me before. You'd think that would make me feel better, but for some reason, it made me feel worse. All I could think about were the hurtful things he said to me when I was at my lowest and how cold he was towards me. I get that you can't force attraction, but why couldn't he just hug me or give me a kiss on the cheek even when I was overweight? Why couldn't he love me as a human being and the mother of his child? When my self-esteem came back, I got really angry at myself for putting up with his behavior for so long. A few days ago, I told him I wanted a divorce because I don't think I can move past how badly he treated me. He apologized and promised to change and prove that he can be better. But honestly, I'm not sure if I can trust him again. What if I gain weight again or have to deal with health issues? Will he treat me like garbage again? I've talked to some friends and family about the whole situation and some say I should give him another chance while others say I should leave him. Am I being justified in being upset over this? Do you think it's possible for my husband to change his behavior for the long term or is a divorce the right move here? <sighs> See, the thing is, he 1000% changed his tune because he became more attractive in his eyes. So it comes down to two things like you just can't, get back to how you were and you can have a happy, healthy marriage. But that like voice nagging at the back of your head, it's like, what if something, what if you have another baby, you gain weight or you get sick and a lot of stuff can cause you to gain weight. And you're going to go through that again. Just be like, damn, I fell for it twice. This is hard. I'm going car shopping in a couple hours and I'm not excited. I'm really not excited. The amount of stress and how fucking annoying it is to get a car. Like, it's just everyone's like, don't, don't sign on the first thing. Don't do that. Don't get this car. Don't get that car. Also, the car I've been wanting, like, has changed at least 17 different times. I was so set on a white Range Rover. It was on my vision board. I was like, I have to get it. Everyone's like, that's a gas guzzler. I'm like, what the fuck is a gas guzzler? Like, and fuck that. We'll do a Tesla. Everyone's like, Teslas are the worst. I have anxiety. No one has said one positive thing about a car to me, okay? And it's the blind leading, the fucking blind out here. I don't know what I'm doing at a car dealership. And everyone's like, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. What? Like, I, cause I'm gonna go and they're gonna be like, it's $30,000. I'm like, you could do it for 10. You could do it for 10, Robert, and you're lying to me. And I'm gonna get real mean too. I'm gonna get real aggressive because I'm anxious and I'm overwhelmed and I'm in a car dealership with all weird fucking men and I'm gonna get really annoyed and I'm gonna be like, you can give me the car for 10 grand and we could just settle it at that. And that's that. That's how I negotiate. You go low, really fucking low. And everyone's like, bring a man to the car dealership. Bring a man to the car dealership. I almost called one of my hoes I haven't spoken to in literally months. I did burn the bridge. <laughs> did i know like i was the problem in that situation i almost called him in tears crying just being like please come to the dealership with me and i was like what get your life together livy like this like car getting a car and like buying a car has made me want to like reach out to exes because i'm so stressed ever just get your period and you're like oh my god this all makes sense like, the reason i was a raging bitch last week or like i was crying now it all makes fucking sense now today i'm on the phone with my mom i'm trying to tell her about these work things i have coming up that are like really exciting this bitch she's hyper fixating on this comedian that she wants me to date i'm like yeah mom i'm doing this at the end of april for work like i'm so fucking excited and she's like you need to google this man immediately call him jared my mom continuously keeps cutting me off and is like you need to watch the clip I sent you about Jared. I'm like, I'm doing amazing things over here and you just want me to look up Jared because you want me to date this fucker? Literally had to say to her at one point, I'm like, mom, you keep cutting me off and I'm just trying to tell you about these things that I have going on that are pretty exciting. And she's like, I'm sorry, I just think Jared is so funny and like, I really just want you to date him and watch his clips. First of all, I don't want to fucking date Jared. Let me just be so honest. I don't want to date Jared. I said, mom, I don't want to date Jared. She's like, you are so fucking close-minded and I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. I'm going to lose it. At this point, I didn't know my period was coming and I really was like about to throw my phone at the fucking wall I was like this woman is just not getting it I'm about to hang up the phone with her and I'm like all right love you bye she's like you need to watch the clip you need to watch the clip I sent you and I'm like okay okay you hang up the phone I start watching this clip this bitch calls me back hi like can I help you she's like are you watching the clip about Jer I you guys like the way that I honestly almost just fucking lost my mind on her I was like I gotta go I gotta go I have to go and I'm like she's just bothering me so deeply and I was like is it because she's like asking me to date a man like is that what's like
<laughs> genuinely bothering me is that she's like, oh, I want you to date this man. I'm like, that's what's annoying. Like, no, I'm about to get my period and I have no fucking idea. And this woman harassing me about this weird ass man is just sending me. And I love my mother dearly, but when I'm about to get my period, nobody's safe, especially her. Like she really knows my trigger points and she really knows how to fucking just get me. Also, a day ago, I couldn't stop crying about how far I've came. I'm just sitting there sobbing. I'm like, oh my God, last year this time, I had no idea what was coming for me. Like, that's so crazy. I couldn't stop crying, like bawling my eyes out, like to the point where I was like, am I okay? Also was crying about how much I just deeply love California. Like sobbing though, to a point where I was like, is something wrong with me? Then I'd stop crying. And then like Travis Kelsey would like pop up on my For You page talking about Taylor Swift. I'd cry again. Like I couldn't stop fucking crying. And then my mom texted me and was like, this comedian like requested to follow me on Instagram. The one that Jared, she's so fucking obsessed with Jared. And my anger ticked back in. I'm like, wait, that's really fucking weird that he requested to follow my mom on Instagram. My mom sends me the account and it's like a fan page for him. And my mom really was like, Jared's trying to follow me on Instagram. I was like, but before I saw the fan page, I was like, maybe he's just really trying to Fuck. My mom's like, I can't believe he wants to follow me. I'm like, mom, that's a fan page. She's like, I just literally cannot believe he really wants to follow me. I'm like, you know what? I'll let her live in the delusions. Jared wants to fucking follow you, mom. Also, a couple days ago, my workout structure would tell me to do something and I would either really just feel the urge to like fucking cry or like actually want to punch him in the head. And I just had to like keep it to myself and he asked me if I was okay. And I was like, no, like I'm so fucking fine. Like I'm fucking fine. But in reality, I was like, oh, this makes sense now. Like I look back and like, it was just my period. So my OCD gets really bad around my period. And I was wondering, I was like, why am I like, why am I OCDing so fucking hard right now? Like, what the fuck is this about? Like, I actually was like, do I gotta up my meds? It's like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm just getting my period. Also, the zero fucking energy that I've had now all like makes sense. Like, I really thought I was like deathly ill or something. I was like, why the fuck can I not wake up? Like, what is this? It's just the beautiful perks of being a woman. Honestly, I could so live without my period. Like, the way that it just honestly emotionally drains the fuck out of me and is painful. Like, what the fuck is the reason? If anybody deserves something like this, it is men.